So what I want to do is set a level up here, and I want to find the same height as the, the bottom of the front fascia, and mark it back here on the header. I've done that here. I've drawn a little bit of a line there. I'm going to end up connecting that line to the other corner to snap a chalk line to run my F channel. But to finish this corner, I want to box this soffit in. I'm going to take a piece of 2 by 8 and I'm going to nail it up here. And then I'm going to finish this end off. Okay, so I got my piece of 2x8. This is pressure treated, but it doesn't have to be. I just happen to have a piece left over. So I'm going to put it up against that line. That's where the bottom of my soffit's going to go. Okay, now I'm going to cut a piece of 2x6, a wedge, to fit right here. I got this piece in and I'm going to finish boxing my soffit in with this wedge that I cut. That's going to go right here. I'll just nail that on. So this is all ready for the soffit to get installed. Once that's installed, I'll show you how I finish it off with the aluminum fascia. So you can make up a jig to uh, use a circular saw to cut these, but I figure for just doing this one, one time here, there's not a lot of sense in taking the time to make up a jig when these snips actually are pretty darn quick. But you could set up a jig and use a use like a plywood blade and you turn it backwards and you can run through these pretty easily. But I just use the snips. Well, as you can see, I'm using a vented soffit or a lanced soffit here. And normally I would go every other venting. If you think about how much square inches you have at the peak of your ridge vent is here, you have way more here than, than you need. So, but I ended up having a lot of extra of this, so I'm just gonna use it up. The, the gable end is overhung a foot. So I extended this out, I framed this with a 2x8, I added this piece here to box it all in. Then I'll start on the back side with a little piece of fascia that I've notched with the 45 there. I'm going to fold over a little bit on this face. So I left this long about an inch and I'm going to just pound it over. Like so. So this piece of fascia is going to be mostly along the front, the eave end. But then it's also, I'm going to notch out these two 45s to fold this over to cover the end. Like so. So the 45s that I notch so when I bring this together forms a nice clean joint. I want to cut a 45 on the bottom edge of the soffit on the end to match the 45 I put there. So let's see how I did.
This piece here is all one piece. I notched it so I could fold it over and make nice uh, mitered corners there. I've done the same thing here. So I have a nice mitered corner here. This piece, I left an inch long. I folded it over and this will cover that up. I'll put a couple nails through here. And then as I run my soffit material up the gable end, I'll bring this over and I'll trim it off. This fascia will come to here, but I'll leave it run long. I'll trim it nice and flat. Here's one way you can do a one foot overhang on a barn and then the soffit detail. You extend the one foot overhang on the gable end all the way down and then you can see right there is where the one foot overhang on the eave end stops. So that's one detail. So on the fronts and sides of my house I actually made the soffit kind of like a, it returns back and on top it actually has shingles and there's the details there. Jag, get over here. Let's go.